Why bother with the Bible? What a great question. I think when I look at all the Bibles that I have amassed over the last 30 something years, I can see that they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and styles and colours aimed at different audiences, all kinds of things. But why bother reading it? Well, sometimes the Bible's made really beautiful. Sometimes the Bible's made really funny. But sometimes the idea of picking up the Bible and reading it from the beginning to the end might seem a little bit, well, daunting, boring. So maybe in order to help us to think about bothering with it, we need to think about it a little bit differently. The Bible is really a collection of 66 books, a library, and the library is full of different genres of books, literature, poetry, even letters. But more than that, the Bible is a book that can bring us light and life to help us understand the meaning of the cross and to bring us to that ultimate love that God has for each one of us. So are there other ways that we can read the Bible? Here's something I do now these days, more than reading an actual book. I look at the Bible on my iPad There's loads of different Bible apps, but here's one that shows you how you can look at a specific book, you can search for it. Here I've been looking at the book of Mark because I've been writing an assignment on it. But if, for example, I go to the Psalms, I know that there's a certain Psalm 139 that actually speaks to me and it talks about how God knows me. He knows my, he discerns my thoughts from far away. And what I can even do is change to a different version of the Bible. So I might switch to, say, the Easy Read Bible. I often use this in my services. And here the language is slightly different. You know my thoughts from far away. You know where I go and when I lie down. You know everything I do. Clever, isn't it? But the certain verses of the Bible that really demonstrate to me that the Bible is the book that reads me and speaks truth into my life. Here's a passage that has meant a lot to me over the years. It's from Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And here I am using the Bible app to create a little card with those words on it so that I can not only be encouraged myself, but I can send it to somebody else and encourage them. So these are all new and interesting ways in which we can connect with the Bible. I hope that this video has demonstrated to you that the Bible is worth bothering. And I hope you'll find a new way to pick up a Bible you own or perhaps look online. Give it a go.